Here's a couple of my hermit crabs I got recently. Now, here's an example of one huge for its shell. There, see that? He can't fit in there all. No, you need a shell. He wants to fit in. Now, normally their claw and a good shell will seal that opening right up. Just like that. So, a little bit more, a little more sealed. But that'll close the opening of that shell and nothing will be able to get them. And this one too, purple claw. Ginormous for his shell. And I just got him um, like four days ago and I have a whole bunch of new shells ready. And I'm gonna mix in some of that. Um, I bought some peat moss today. I'm gonna mix that in with their normal rock and uh, mulch bedding. You're too big. I think at the pet stores, they like to keep them in what they call the fancy shells and they squish them in there. But I prefer the natural shell. But he clearly does not. And a quick thing here, this is how they um, hide in the wild. See, this would be a piece of driftwood. And with the exception of the neon yellow Spider-Man shell, um, he would camouflage pretty well. You can see those legs. And those little things in there look like strings. Those are his antenna that are folded up. And here you can see him pinching. Oh, those don't fall. With his claws. Pinching right onto that wood. And if I tried to pull him off, um, I would literally just pick up the piece of wood with him on it. He's, he's stuck.